Well, I hope you guys like that flight. Um, we're gonna head back right now. Now it's gonna be nice and dark. I don't know how this is gonna look with the camera on, so we'll see how it does. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button if you do. And let's go ahead and get ready for takeoff. Yeah, so basically we had RFR flight plan. We flew on an IFR flight plan. Once we got close to the airport, he told me visual approach. Uh, we went ahead and canceled our IFR flight plan in flight, even though he told me to keep the squat code. Once I land, I go ahead and put the VFR transponder, which is the 1200. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off. We're actually not going to file a flight plan. Once we get in the air, we're going to switch back to approach. And I'm going to tell them that I'm flying back to Sacramento. And now we're on a VFR flight plan. Even though we're going to get flight following, um, it's always good to do that. And I'm just going to taxi all the way to the end of the runway. I don't really need it in these planes. I mean, they get off pretty quick. But it's always better to have the runway than, you know, not to have enough. <laughs> we could have actually turned around where we were at. And we could have, you know, took it off from there and kept going. But we're just going to get all the way. Looks like this is Bravo 3, this is the last one. All right, it doesn't look like there's anybody here. So go ahead and we'll check. Just to make sure that we have the right frequencies when we take off. 125.1, we'll switch to that once we get airborne. Everything looks good. We don't need to do a run up because we just landed. Make sure there's rich fuel selectors on both. Uh, we do want to check, make sure our trim is set for takeoff. I did use a lot of trim. Yeah, look, so we're going to make sure trim is set for takeoff. Wing flaps up. Everything looks good. We're ready to go. And we always clear check final. Make sure there's no airplane landing and here we go. Stock in traffic. Cessna 73 Yankee Charlie. Two down the right. Ready to take off. It's going to be a straight out departure. Stock in traffic. Alright, so we just told anybody who's in the area. Again, I'm looking to final. I know you guys can't see it, but making sure there's no airplanes coming in, even though we would have heard on the radio. Um, again, because this is uncontrolled, you technically don't have to talk. So, and a guy could be landing and not saying anything. So. Well, those lights are bright. <laughs> All right, heels on the floor. Oh, that's interesting. All right, we are airborne. And you just saw or noticed the runway lights all turned off, um, all the taxiway lights as well. Um, I could control it with uh, just clicking the mic. And if you click it seven times, it'll turn on six or seven times. It'll turn the lights back on. So, but we don't need it because we are leaving the airport. Stock in traffic, SSS3, Yankee Charlie, last call, departing the airport, stock in traffic. Contact North Cross, Sigma X37 Lavin Ontario 0546, Zulu for Nevada, California. For occasional service service, we will want to use more information as available on flight service frequencies. Approach SSS3, Yankee Charlie has just departed, stocked in. We'd like to request flight following back to Sacramento Executive, please. Passing through 1,300 to 4,500. November 738 Yankee Charlie North Airport, Fog 0362. 
Right, zero three six two, Cessna seven three Yankee Charlie. Cessna seven three Yankee Charlie radar contact one mile north of Stockton Airport, Stockton ultimate two nine nine eight and verify your Cessna one seventy two. Affirmative, Cessna one seventy two and model with GPS on board. Cessna seven three Yankee Charlie. RV4 Tango Delta, contact approach 125.35. 125, uh, 35, thanks, good day. So we just got flight following, now he's watching us on radar. Kind of messed up there, I'm supposed to tell him the type of aircraft I'm at. Usually when you find the off air flight plan, it's in there. Uh, when you do a flight following, you usually tell them, now unless you're taking off from the airport, you technically don't have to tell them the aircraft model. But. Kind of forgot there because I did depart at uncontrolled air airport. We're gonna have about uh, 2,500 to 5,000, 4,500. So usually when you're on a north kind of heading, I'm um, anywhere from 180 to let's say 359, you are gonna fly even numbers plus 500. What that means is you'll be like 4,500, 6,500, 8,500. In the opposite direction, it would be odd plus 500. So it would be like, you know, 5,500, 7,500, you know, 9,500, and things like that. Again, when you fly the IFR flight plan, you actually are flying even or odd based on your out of flight, but you don't have to add the 500. So they try to separate the aircraft that way. All right, landing light is off. We're cruising our climb checklist. We're climbing, making sure everything's looking good in the airplane. Yeah, it's really nice um, when you're up here by yourself. You know, it is quiet, kind of peaceful. You know, you can't really see the stars. But yeah, I love it. You know, I really enjoy flying. I know I've said that many times. <laughs> but it's just, it's... Everybody has their passion, right? Everybody has what they like to do. People like horse riding. People like fixing up cars. People like scuba diving. People fly helicopters. Just depends on what you're into, really. I'm into aviation. Fortunately, this expensive hobby, but you know, I, I love it. You know, growing up, I wanted to be an airline pilot. Things didn't work out, but hey, you know, as long as I get to fly, my goal was to get my private, then my instrument, and I hope I can get my commercial. All right, so we're at about 4,500, then we'll do our cruise checklist. Make sure to lean it out a little. We got about 23 minutes till we get to the airport. Temperature 15, dew point minus 6, altimeter 3001. Visual approach in use, landing and departing runway 30. ILS runway 2, glide slope out of service. Hazardous weather information for California. Use caution for birds in the vicinity of the airport. Advise on initial contact, you have information X ray. I got information X ray. Sacramento, Executive Airport Information X-ray, 0153 Zulu Observation, wind 290 at Niner, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 6, altimeter 3001. Visual approach in use, landing and departing runway 30. ILS runway 2. Uh, 738 Yankee Charlie, contact approach 123.7. Hi, one, two, three, point seven, Cessna seven three Yankee Charlie. Good night. Approach, Cessna seven three Yankee Charlie with you at four thousand five hundred. Cessna seven three Yankee Charlie, Narkel approach, it is X rays current Sacramento, one hundred three zero zero one. Affirmative, have X ray to Sacramento, executive three zero zero one for Cessna seven three Yankee Charlie. Valley seventy six fifty eight, kind of capital star one two five point seven. Good night, Tuck Valley seventy six fifty eight, Wilson. Valley seventy six ninety seven, kind of capital star one two five point seven. Your number three. Hey, over to Tower seventy six nine seven five. Alrighty, looks like we got a headwind. <laughs> well, they said 290, so it is kind of coming to the west in a way. Looks like that city over there in front of us. So we got Lodi off to the right. Oh, we just actually are passing right over Lodi. And in front of us, it looks like that's got to be maybe the city of Gulf, Sacramento. Howdy, NorCal. Southwest 2604, 19.2, descending via the center three. We now have Alpha. So 2604 NorCal approach, expect the visual approach runway 35 right, left side will be full tonight, speed is your discretion. 
Okay, we'll expect a visual approach 35 right. Speed our discretion, Southwest 2604. Southwest 2604. Previous arrivals, I haven't had anyone from the south in a few minutes, but uh, I've reported moderate turbulence starting around 15,500 and then continuing down to about 5,000. I appreciate the heads up, Southwest 2604. Pecos 494, to set and maintain 10,000. Set and maintain uh, 10,000, Pecos 494. Pack Valley 7655, North Calipers, to set and maintain 3,000. So how many people out there like night flying? <laughs> Valley 7655, turn right 8150. North Calipers, 19 to 65, 5,500 for Mather, and we do have X-ray. Fox 1965, North Calipers, thanks for X-ray. Uh, just stay up there at 5,500 for now, and I'll get you lower in a moment. We'll call Boxer 1965, 5500. Mike Valley, 7720 North Calip Road. Turn left heading 150 to maintain 3000. Thanks, I'll be following. Echoes 494, contact approach 124.8. 124.8, echoes 494, good on. Approach, this is 73 Yankee Charlie, like to descend to 3000. This is Yankee Charlie, altitude your discretion. All right, altitude my discretion, this is 73 Yankee Charlie. Transport 3431, heavy Norcat departure, radar contact, climb, maintain flight level 190. Valley 7655, turn left heading 070, descend and maintain 2000. 32697, Norcat approach, advance, clear darn heavy, Zulu runway 35, right approach. Pack Valley 7655, did you say you had the filming site? Thanks, Pack Valley 7655, cleared visual approach, runway 35 left, connect tower 125.7, so long. Transport 3431, heavy turn right heading 130, and I'll have direct railing for you shortly. Mike Valley 7720 and turn left heading 070, descend and maintain 2000. Boxer 1965, flight heading 120, descend at your discretion. 120, descend at my discretion, Boxer 1965. Transport 3431, heavy, proceed direct to Rayleigh. North Cal approach, take your shot, 289 and Romeo, Tango, 16.1, descending 14000 with X-ray. Station 289 and Romeo, Tango, North Cal approach, descend and maintain 10000, expect a visual approach on my four right. 10,000, 10,000, and uh, we'll expect a visual 4 right. 289, run your ticket. 2792, North Cat departure, radar contact, climb, maintain flight level 190. Valley 7720, follow your company, cleared visual approach, runway 35 left, connect tower 125.7. Transport 3431, heavy, roger. Um, what color is it? Can you approximate how far ahead? DHP 23, not sure if you heard that or not, but that's at your uh, 11 o'clock and about 3 miles. DHP 23, North Cat. DHP-23, uh, aircraft off your left wing up high, just reported a laser event. That'd be at your 12 o'clock now, about two and a half miles of green laser. Central aircraft unauthorized laser illumination event, about two miles east of the McClellan Airport, reported by a uh, heavy Boeing 767 at 11,000. Southwest 2604, reduce speed to 210, then maintain 4,000. Slow to 210, then maintain 4,000, Southwest 2604. Auction 1965, resume on navigation, County made the tower 120.65. Oh, navigation, 120.65, Boxer 1965, thanks. Transport 3431 Heavy, just confirmed, no injuries. Thank you. South 2792, contact Oakland Center, 119.75. Station 9 Romeo Tango, descend to maintain 8000. Station 9 Romeo Tango, descend to maintain 8000. Approach, Skyhawk 124 Mike Echo, level 5500. Skyhawk 124 Mike Echo, NorCal approach, advise me, I've X ray. We do have X-ray, 124 Mike Echo. Transport 3431 Heavy, connect Oakland Center, 127.9 or 5. Detroit 9 Romeo Tango is descending to 8,000. Thank you. American 2697, connect Capital Tower, 125.7. Nice. Got 8 Yankee Charlie, contact Exec Tower, 119.5. 119.5, so 73 Yankee Charlie, good night. Not plus 26. Seven Tower, so 73 Yankee Charlie, inbound runway 30. So 73 Yankee Charlie, Exec Tower, straight in runway 30. Alright, straight in, runway 30, so 73 Yankee Charlie. I got the airport in sight. At about a 45 degree angle right now, if you can look out, you see those lights flashing right there. Kind of towards the left there. That's where I'm actually going to be heading. See the rotating beacon as well. Then once we get a little closer, we'll get our flaps down. We'll do our, so we can do our fuel selector on both. Make sure it's rich. Landing night is on. Our beat will be on in just a second once we get a little closer. Our car beat on. Now we're going down to 1,000. We're about to enter the Sacramento Executive Airspace. We are starting our approach. Now we're just going to stay at a thousand feet. So if you guys see those two lights blinking right there, that's the runway. That's where we're heading to. Now we're going to give one notch of flaps. They are coming down, looking good. That slows us down a little bit. This is our angle of attack, about 900 feet. Uh, you should be able to see the runway. Um, I don't know if the camera is actually, but I'll get. 
see those red lights, like off to the side, they're like four red lights, those are Vazi lights. So what the red means is pretty much I'm too low. So when it's all white, you're too high. Now if you have two reds and two whites, that means you are on, on the right proper glide path. So we're technically too low here. So we don't want to really go down anymore. You know, until we kind of see that get in, you know, we got the two whites and two reds, then we're good to go for the landing. Okay, so it's a straight in. Usually he'll give us the clear to land because he didn't really. Cessna Yankee Charlie, runway 30, clear to land, wind 320 at 12, gust 18. Alright, clear to land, runway 30, Cessna 38, Yankee Charlie. It's going to be windy landing, bumpy landing, guys. So we might not get in full flaps. Because you can see we have one white, that's good. So basically we just stay at this altitude and we'll should see both. About 90 knots, I'm going to slow down a little bit. So we're at 500, about 600 feet looks like. Alright, so there we go, we got our white, two whites, two red, that means we are on the proper glide path. I'm going to give myself 20 degrees of flaps. And our landing speed is about 65 knots in this model. We don't want to go any slower than that or we will stall the aircraft. Looks like we're getting a little low there. Executive Tower, Skyhawk 124, Mike Echo, inbound from the southwest, about nine miles with information x-ray. Such 124, Mike Echo, Exec Tower, enter on left base, runway 30. Left base, runway 30, 124, Mike Echo. Taxi the ramp, I'm going to the shaded hangars, Mike via Alpha, Cessna 73, Yankee Charlie.
15 maybe. It's around 6.26 p.m. so. Fun, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you liked the night flying. And my goal is, you know, once I'm done with the training and everything, is just to really start flying and having a good time, so. Thanks for flying.